Our glass is clean. What's up, man? First thing first, make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and comment, bro. Um, today is Tuesday. Uh, I just dropped a video actually today. Um, it's about how I'm saving for my future. You know how I'm. What what what? Two little things I'm doing right now. Um, I'm looking into. Uh, I just opened up a 401k, and I'm doing a. Um, even though I'm not I'm planning on being in my job for a long time, but I'm still opening up, get some free money, whatever. I explained that part in the video, and I also um, working on the rock. Uh, IRA and I also I'm looking into the CD stuff, you know, so You know as much as I can I also just open up another account man. Just go watch the video bro. Go watch it Um, it's gonna be up there at the top, but so um today I don't really have too much plan, but I know I have to go right now. I'm about to go to um, My dad's office and get this box so I can box this uh, Computer I just sold so I can ship it off to I think it's Miami or whatever so right now I'm about to go to my dad's office and then I'm going to go ahead and um, get the box, box it, and then ship it. Take it to the post office, which isn't too far from my dad's office, and ship it to the lady, you know, the sweetheart. But um, I keep telling you, I mean, if I need anything, hit me up, bro. We're we doing everything we said we was going to do. And that 20 goals, um, we're doing it, man. We're doing it. Um, I think I'm going to do a, a video where some probably like six months into the year, probably in June, I'm gonna do a video like, you know, crossing out all stuff that I did or whatever, and that I have already completed or, you know, a little update or whatever to make sure I'm completing my goals. But yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and comment, bro. We out of here. Eventually, I wanna buy like a little, little traveler's coin pouch thing or whatever, so I can carry like chapstick and stuff like that, you know? Cause I bought, I went to the store one time and bought like a bunch of chapstick, like a lot. But I have no way to carry it. I explained everything to y'all while I was in the house or whatever. So now um, I want to talk to y'all about something and something that I plan on doing. And I want to, um, I don't know if all y'all notice or not, but I'm, I'm part Nigerian. My dad's Nigerian. So I want to get more in touch with my Nigerian side. I mean, I want to learn more about my culture, about my history, you know, because it's hard to explain. Like, my mom's American, my mom's from, you know, Houston. And my dad's from Africa, he's from Nigeria. So it's a lot of division between Nigerians and African Americans. It's a lot of division. So it's like, they don't really mess with me kinda or mess with my mama or whatever because she's American. And they automatically think I'm a thug. And as y'all know that, when y'all watch my videos, y'all know I ain't no thug and none of that. But it's just something that just, they, they, their ignorance, you know? But I still want to get more in touch with my Nigerian side. And I plan on doing the, uh, what is it called? I was about to say eHarmony. What is it called? The uh, I think it is eHarmony, huh? No, it's not eHarmony. eHarmony is a dating thing, I think. It's a thing where they, where they do the, the, the mouth swab stuff. Like, what is it called? Uh, Ancestry. Ancestry.com. I want to do that. So I think this month I'm going to um, go ahead and buy the kit and just do it and just figure out my history, you know. And what a coincidence it is Black History Month, you know, so and just figure out what what like I know I talked to my dad, he said he said he's from Emo State in Nigeria. And um I forgot the name of the city he said. New New Group, New Group, something like that. And of course I know my dad's Emo, you know, I know I'm Emo, but I don't know like, you know, fully, fully everything and all that. And I don't know uh, exactly what everything on my, my mom's side. Cause I know my I think my great 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 grandma or something like that was hispanic or something like that so i don't know fully like you know everything and i don't know all that stuff so i want to figure out what was truly all on my mom's side because i also know i do have some cousins that are um that are indian that are, that are arab you know so it's, it's it's just it's just i got a lot i got a lot on both sides so i want to like know exactly what i have and what am i and stuff of that nature so that's what I plan on doing for February. And so I'm going to see how that go in. I'm, I'm going to bring y'all along with it. Like, as soon as I order the kit, when they come in, I'm going to take the little test on camera. I'm going to show my results. I'm going to do my research. You know, I'm going to do all that type of stuff. February going to be a big month for me. A real big month. I got a good letter in the mail yesterday. It's going to be a big month. And as y'all see, I'm already um, taking care of my business, doing my sales and stuff. So I'm doing what I got to do, bro. I hope y'all doing what y'all got to do. Keep telling y'all, bro, don't slack. Don't slack. But um, I'll talk to y'all when I get to my dad's place when I'm about to head to the post office. So y'all stay tuned.
Man, uh, I, I'm up here at my dad's place. I just left. We just, well, not left, but I'm sitting in the car. Um, I'm about to leave to go to the post office and stuff. Um, yeah, let me just show y'all, you know, the package or whatever. Cover up the address and stuff. But yeah, I'm about to go drop that off at this uh, post office over here called Demos. Demos. It's on, it's on Demos. Demos, whatever. Best post office, according to my dad. And we never had issues. Because one time, like I told y'all before, I used to sell laptops and stuff online. I had sent it to... I dropped it off at this other mailbox. the a post office that's closer by my house. These fools took my stuff and shipped it back. <laughs> like, the computer got lost for a second. I was like, okay, what's going on? They shipped it back to my house because... I had put the wrong weight. I put like, it was like, it weighed like eight pounds. I put like seven pounds. So these fools shipped it back to me, but it got lost for a little bit for like a week. It got lost. I got scared. I'm like, oh my God. But then that's when I, um, I had reshipped it to the person and then I put the correct weight or whatever. And then it shipped, but I dropped it off to the Demos. So for now, I always use this Demos one because my dad was like, oh, that's the best one. That's the best one. And so I always use that Demos one. And, but yeah, man. I'm going to go ahead and drop it off, and then I'll talk to y'all whenever I come back from out of there and figure out what I want to do. This dude got some fake Yeezys on. I'm a super fake. But you know what? My boy, he doing this thing. He ain't tripping. He walking with the limp like he fresh. So it is what it is. But yeah, man, I'll see y'all when I uh, come back from dropping it off, come out of the post office. Y'all know how the post office be. I'll see y'all. I just came back. I just dropped the uh, package off or whatever. It was it was it was a line in there, but I didn't have to wait through all that because um I had already paid for my shipping and stuff online. But I didn't have to wait through all that line and stuff because I had already paid for my stuff. So I just went in there and set it on the side where you said like the package is already prepaid and then you just leave and, but I'm probably about to head home man. I figure out what else I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, come back to y'all, whatever, or I might go home and just chop it up with y'all real quick about some things I want to talk about. Some things I didn't, I wanted to touch on that video, but I figured I, I, it's best I do it in the second video. Yeah, bro, this is where I'm from. Over here, bro. They didn't build a church over here and everything, but these are my apartments right here, bro. This shit right here, crazy. Farm Park 3. Y'all see that sign there? Y'all from Houston, y'all know how Farm Park is, bro. I always come over here whenever I need to just stay humble, like. Okay, y'all see the tennis court right there, right? Y'all see the second window? Not this window, but the one right there. That's where I stayed at. That was my apartment. This was my uncle apartment, and that was my mom's best friend apartment. They didn't change the air conditioner units that was right there. We used to just sit on there. It wasn't even. It was like the big old power you power supply things or whatever, and we would sit there all day. Listen to some bad kids, you know. I've come from a long way, long, long way, man. And I always come over here whenever I need to stay humble, just like, you know. Whenever I feel like times are tough or something like that, I just remember like where you came from, bro. Seeing people get shot, dope fiends. Like right here, I'm gonna show y'all why I seen, it was a shootout right here between the cops and the dude. Dude was running from the police, robbed the gas station up the street. And this little alley right here, right here, right there, shootout right there. And I'm sitting right there in front of my apartment, you know, like you make a left right there, where you see where the little fence at? I was right there by that fence, like a little bit by my apartment, whatever, just standing there. And police was chasing the nigga and, you know, had a whole shootout right there, shot him and everything. And so it's like, whenever I just need to stay on board, just like, whenever times get tough, and I'll be like, damn, like, I'm not progressing in life. I feel like I'm not where I want to be or, you know, whatever, whatever. I just remember where I came from, bro. Though we not, me and my family not done getting where we want to go, I still put that pressure on myself to get my family where I want us to go with, but... We was on Section 8 living here, bro. I don't know if it's Section 8 in other places, but in Houston, it's Section 8. You know, so... Just on a little serious note, you know? I was passing by going back home, and I was like, you know what? Let me swing by here. Just to stay on, bro, you know? So, it's just... Give y'all a little insight on me, bro. A little insight on me. 
It's crazy. But yeah, man, make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and comment. Um, do what y'all gotta do, bro. Do what y'all gotta do. Don't, don't have no self pity, no nothing, bro. You make your reality. Don't let nobody put no no status on you, or no, you know all that. Don't let nobody do that to you. You make your reality. So do what you gotta do, bro. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your status was. And I'm not even this right here. Like living in these is it's not even like the worst. You know, there's places that's worse in Houston than this. But this is just this is where I was from. You know, so I'm telling y'all, bro, we we gonna grind. We gonna be millionaires, bro. Y'all stay tuned, bro. But like I said, make sure y'all just stay humble. Keep doing what y'all gotta do. You make your life what you is, like what, what you want it to be. Don't let nobody put no status. Oh, if you this, you that, you from this social class, or you ain't gonna never be rich, or nah. Don't let nobody that's in that lower class or they didn't got felonies and all this and tell you like, oh, you ain't gonna be nothing. Look where you from. You, you stay where we at, like trying to keep you there. That crab in the bucket mentality. Don't let nobody do that. Y'all grind, bro. Y'all grind. But yeah, man. Make sure y'all race is fine. Watch me pass, call red like a gas, pass the rock like Steve Nash. Walk the line, Johnny Cash, Chief and Trees, watch it mash. Inventory some bags, who is that? The nigga that's serving it to your dad, why go?